Hi, it is the Human Operating System Time. In this channel, we investigate the what, why, how of ancient Chinese culture and that include the ancient Wing Chun Queen. Today, I'd like to share with you something critical to make it clear, like the previous video when I compare the uh, 1850s Wing Chun and 1960s Wing Chun. So this is a video to share with you what is going on with this Wing Chun <coughs> creations. Reason I get into this today is because still often many Wing Chun friends ask me about White Crane Fujian. How is the White Crane Fujian is in Wing Chun so far? So today I'd like to share with you with this, making so clear that you'll be able to see things clearly. Okay? Now, that is a problem in Wing Chun educations, where one don't know about this, most of us. And then lead into which grandmaster say what, and then like start from 1960s, you put into like the Wing Chun's uh, core is Tan Pong Fu. Well, if one using the Tan Pong Fu as a core to teach the beginner, that's very good. But when one using that uh, Tan Pong Fu concept or model, thinking there's the entire Wing Chun, then that is disaster. Okay? And then, when one do not be able to explain thing in Wing Chun, one pull in Tai Chi, internal, mind power, Fa Jing, or White Crane Fujian do this, we do that. Well, this is actually a disaster. Look at past 50 years. Why is it end up to be like mess today? So, we need to understand the bottom line of traditional Chinese martial art. Wing Chun is not exclusive, okay? So, in traditional Chinese martial arts, at least in the Shaolin derived, okay? The, 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 the real deal Shaolin derived martial arts, you have the impulse momentum part, you have the body condition part, and then you have the techniques, which is supporting the body conditioning and the impulse momentum. Now, there are three things here. Body conditioning in today's term, sports science today's uh, term, it is functional training. Okay? Or it is named as functional movement training. For example, the swimmer will train a unique type of functional movement training compared with the runner. So body conditioning is that. So if one need to have this impulse momentum handling in any style, they need to have the body, the specific body conditioning. Okay, or specific functional training so that that way they can support the impulse momentum uniqueness of that style. Now, techniques is the tools for impulse momentum handling and the body conditioning. Now, many today have no idea on impulse momentum no idea in body conditioning and right away get into the techniques. Well, without knowing this, this is talking techniques is a disaster. If we some kind of dance, it's like you're talking about a swimming techniques, but you don't know what is that for. What type of uh, body conditioning you need to have and what type of impulse momentum in this case swimming you need to have the water 
you swim in the water, those type of momentum handling. So many today just get into techniques. I want to learn this techniques, that techniques, and make it like if you watch me uh, uh, in video, you can learn this techniques, or you watch this uh, people doing this shape and that uh, uh, mo uh, posture, then you say, oh, this is uh, this, this is that. Why have no idea on this thing? Why well, become a disaster? Okay. So people sometimes argue, oh, Wing Chun have Tan Sao, uh, this other heart has Tan Sao too. Well, so they are equal. Well, wait a minute, look, look into what is this. Like the other day after I shared the 1850s uh, and 1960s Wing Chun's difference, many of our Wing Chun fans wrote me, Oh Hendrik, how can I learn those uh, 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 attacking the leg uh, techniques? What techniques? If we don't have this uh, short strike, body conditioning, we don't know the impulse momentum handling, one can keep in learning techniques and go nowhere. Because those are just mimic posture. Okay? So this is the issue. Now, for Wing Chun, very specific, the impulse momentum is Shaolin short strike. That's why it is named as Tip San to Inda in Cantonese. Or sticking to opponent's body's type of short strike. And you know that is a, a written black and white in the in the uh, Shaolin classic, Shaolin short strike classic. You cannot find those kind of stuff in Tai Chi document. So does you cannot find that in Ermei Si er Zhuang or the White Crane Fujian. Because sticking body short strike have a definition and it has clearly described the impulse momentum and the body conditioning and its techniques. Okay, so this big picture one need to know and for the body condition of the Wing Chun 1850 we know that it is Shaolin because it has to uh, support the impulse momentum of the short strike and it refined it with Erme body conditioning or functional uh, functional uh, movement training method is just like for what? Very simple. It's like today I use this this uh, spot tracker, heart rate ha tracker, to do the the our training in the in the uh, qigong. Then that means I incorporate this Western technology into the qigong. And this is not going to change the Qigong, same thing. So the Ermei Si er Zhuang technology is just using to refine certain things. It's just like my watch to using for refine certain things. Okay, just get this straight. So don't buy into those, oh, you know, I'm going to read some Ermei book, I'm going to read some Tai Chi book, and then it make my art. Internal, internal for what? When people say that claim making that claim of research, you know 100% they don't know what they're talking about. Okay, now techniques. The techniques of Wing Chun, mainly, of course, this is Shaolin. Your trapping hand, your grabbing hand, those are Shaolin stuff. Okay. Your 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 tan sao, your folk sao, those are Shaolin stuff. Now, there are some Erme techniques. There are some Erme techniques such as what? Wu Sao. The way how you execute or issue Force in Wu Sao that is belongs to the Ermei Si er Zhuang. It's called the under sleeve strength. White crane, Fujian, 
Does it have the techniques there in the Wing Chun? Yes. So, the majority in the techniques is Shaolin, some Er Mei, and then you have a few in the White Crane. Today, we have evidence, black and white. That's why if you read my book, The Resurrecting Wing Chun, I open the entire cut. It is an education. You want to proceed in Wing Chun, you need those education. We need to know what is the ancient mean. It's like you want to repair or maintain a, 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 a cell phone. You need the schematic diagrams. You need to know the operating system. You, you just don't talk about, oh, this, this, uh, this uh, handphone look this way, that way. It might be uh, Apple, it might be Google, it might be whatever. It's not that. It is really specific. So if one do not have a sharp mind and professional mind, one is simply will not be able to see this. And one is not be able to proceed further because one have no idea what it is. So this is engineering. This is technology. So let's not misuse the term technology. Today, everybody, when I say technology, everybody use the term technology. When I say engine, everybody say engine. What is engine? What is the technology? One need to know this. So did I open up this everything? Sure, you read my book, The uh, Wing Chun Matrix and Wing Chun Inception, the entire thing I share with you. And then the recycling Wing Chun get even deeper into the certain thing, which is the Wing Chun Matrix and Wing Chun Inception doesn't cover. And then show you how from General Chi Chi Guang to Shaolin Short Strike to the 1850s Wing Chun, you need them to understand what is going on. And yet, no grandmaster up to today have that. Okay? So, for me, as in that, this channel, we talk like university. Show me the evidence. Show me the relationship. Show me the definitions. Without that, what are you talking about? Okay? Name dropping grandmaster or lineage or anything doesn't mean a thing in the field of real study and real research. So if one want to know what is this martial art, that martial art, pay attention to this three things. When you want to look at the martial art, you want to know what it is, you want to learn, ask this question. What is the impulse momentum? What is the functional training or body conditioning? What is the, how many techniques is there? If you learn this way, you study this way, you'll be really fast to learn what it is and you can master it and handle it. Otherwise, you're just going here, left and right. These techniques. And then I have this internal of these techniques. Look into the past 60 years, what people get out from it. Look at today's MMA. How far have we gone? Okay, now let's talk about the white crane techniques which is in the 1850s Wing Chun, which is recorded in the 1850s Shulim Tao sets. Okay, by writing. Now, when we do this type of uh, investigations, we are like a judge, okay, in the court of law. Whatever it is, we say whatever it is. Whatever it is not, then we say whatever it is not. No face is given, no grandmaster title or anything pulled. Because if we pull those kind of things, we're going to screw people up. Okay? So, we do this way. Now, the techniques of Fujian White Crane in the Xiulim Tao. Actually, it is actually 
also the movement or the, the, the trend of the movement you or the posture you can see it with the 1850 Xiu Lim Tao or even today Xiu Lim Tao the issue is that do one see that details and even many people who practice the 1850 Xiu Lim Tao do not know this they know this writing but they don't know where it is so the writing saying that in Mandarin Qi Zhang Qi Zhou Dan Chao Yang Qi Zhang Qi Zhou Dan Chao Yang Qi Zhang is erect the palm erect the palm this is laying down the palm this is erect the palm Qi Zhou is bending elbow erect the arm bending elbow this elbow is bending Dan Chao Yang single Chao Yang Chao Yang is a term from Fujian White Crane. Single Chao Yang is a term. Uh, Chao Yang is a term from Fujian White Crane. Under record, okay? And it is single, it's not double. It's meaning one side, one side of the hand execution, okay? So it said that this, uh, when you execute this Chao Yang, single side Chao Yang, it is erect palm, bending elbow you need to watch out for that okay now so where is it in the Xiu Lim Tao well I can share with you did everybody do this in the Xiu Lim Tao okay or well, some doing this 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 and then turn you know hook and so forth so forth and the 1850s Wing Chun uh, Xiu Lim Tao you can see many people copy me like this this and then they hook and then they do PUG. Well, did they do this? Most don't. Why? Because it is not, and this is Tan Sao, and then this is a Hin Sao. No. This, between this and the hook, okay, this is not Hin Sao too, between this and the hook and so forth it missing one point or missing one pose and that pose which is missing is the white crane techniques so today Xiu Lim Tao you look at it out there until I share with you today you can see that 99.9999% people miss that for past 100 years okay in records, you can see it. In YouTube, you can see up to at least eight, uh, 80 years, 60, 80 years. Disregard who? So what is this? Okay. So it is this going down. When you come up, this is not the end of it. You have a turn down. This is Tan Chao Yang. This is from the white crane. This is from the white crane. This is from the white crane. Erect palm, bending elbow, single chao yang. Okay, so it is this, 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 not end yet, turning down, press down. This one is tan chao yang, but you look at all the Xiu Lim Tao in the YouTube, it missed the death. Okay, this is tan chao yang. And then after that, this is hook hand. This hook hand is from Shaolin. Okay? And then press on the other side using this side. And then Buji. So the entire thing is one, two, three, down. Hook. Press. Buji. Okay? One, two, three. Now, this is Dan Chao Yang. Okay. Hook. Press down with this side. Buji. So, most people, they just do this and then they the hook. They miss this point. Press down with this point. Okay. They miss this point. This point. This is 
Dan Chao Yang. You can see in white crane uh, uh, sets and uh, white crane Fujian's uh, application. That is Dan Chao Yang. Okay. So that single point is missing. You look at everybody is just doing this. Okay. Oh. Without this thing. Okay. Without this thing. So that is Dan Chao Yang. That is where it is in the Xiu Lin Tao 1850s. Okay? So lately many people claim that they know the 1850s Xiu Lin Tao sets and so forth, so forth, so forth. And that's why I look into them. Well, they study White Crane, they study Hermes, Erzhuang, blah, blah, blah. But as soon as you don't show me this, I know you don't know. There are many things there in the 1850s Xiu Lin Tao set I can check on people. Do you steal it? Do you mimic? Do you know what you're talking about? Okay? So one need to know this, know this, and then practice before one can have proficient in it. And here we're just only talking about like uh, in the university, the technical details. We are not here, I'm not here claiming like a, I'm the best uh, designer in the Silicon Valley. No, we are just talking like in the university. You have this content, this details in where and how it is designed. Okay, so when the, the, you want to do lap sao, you press him first, he push you, you lap him, you get in. Okay? And you can do the, 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 the hook can to get in. All those techniques is to get in. And then if I hook it, he come from the other side, I press in from here, I hook in. The entire Xilin Tao is like a really uh, elegant design, sport car. So let's not mess things up. 